x to the power of 3 plus x is equals to 30. How do we find all possible solutions for x? Without further delay, let's begin the solution. We have x to the power of 3 plus x. When this guy comes to the left side, it becomes minus 30, which is equals to 0. So this implies that x to the power of 3 plus x minus 30 is the same thing as writing 27 plus 3 which is equals to 0. This implies x to the power of 3 plus x. Let's open this bracket. So we have minus 27 minus times plus that is minus 3 equals 0. So let's rearrange this equation. So we're going to have x raised by 3 minus 27 plus x minus 3 equals 0. Nothing has changed. This implies x to the power of 3 minus 27 is the same thing as 3 raised by 3 plus x minus 3 equals 0. We can separate this. Now, recall that whenever we have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, it's the same thing as writing a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So we are going to apply this property to this guy. You observe that our a is x and our b is simply 3. So using these properties, we're going to have what is a? a is x minus what is b? b is 3 times. So we're going to plug in a here. a is x. So we're going to have x squared plus a times b. That is x times 3, which is 3x plus b squared. b is 3. So we're going to have 3 squared. That is 9 plus this guy x minus 3, which is equal to 0. You will observe that x minus 3 is common, so we can pull it out. So we're gonna have x minus 3 into this guy x squared plus 3x plus 9 plus what plus 1. Because when we use this guy to multiply this, we get this. And when we use x minus 3 to multiply this, we get this. So this equals 0. So this implies that we have x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 9 plus 1 that is simply 10 which is equals to 0. So this implies that x minus 3 is equals to 0 or x squared plus 3x plus 10 is equals to 0. This implies that x is equals to 3 or x squared plus 3x plus 10 is equals to 0. This is the real solution. So now let's consider this guy. We observe that this quadratic equation is not factorizable. So we can either use completing the square method or quadratic formula. Let's use the completing the square method. So we have x squared plus 3x. Let's take this to the right hand side. So we're going to have negative 10. Now we are going to add half of the coefficient of x and at the same time square it to both sides. So we're going to have x squared plus 3x plus half of this coefficient of x, which is 3 over 2 and square it equals minus 10 plus we do the same thing here 3 over 2 or square so this implies we can combine these two guys so we're gonna have x plus 3 over 2 or square equals negative 10 plus 3 over 2 or square that is simply 9 over 4 this implies x plus 3 over 2 or square equals the lcm here is 4 so we're gonna have 4 here so 4 times minus 10 that is negative 40 plus 4 divided by 4 that is 1 1 times 9 we have 9 so this implies that x plus 3 over 2 all square is equals to when you add this guy we have minus 31 over 4. now let's take the positive square root of both sides so we're gonna have x plus 3 over 2 is equals to square root of minus 31 over 4. Don't forget we are going to have plus or minus here. This implies that x is equals to, when this guy comes to the right side, we have minus 3 over 2 plus or minus square root of minus 31 over 4. This implies that x is equals to negative 3 over 2 plus or minus, this whole guy could be written as square root of negative 31 all over square root of 4. So we get x to be equals minus 3 over 2 plus or minus square root of negative 31 is the same thing as writing square root of negative 1 times square root of 31. So this equals square root of negative 1 that is simply i. That's from the complex number. 
times square root of 31 so we are going to replace this guy with this so we're gonna have i times square root of 31 all over square root of 4 that is simply 2 this implies that x is equals to when we combine these two guys we get minus 3 plus or minus i times square root of 31 all over 2 which is the complex solution so these are all possible solutions for x so that's it thanks for watching